Let's head over to the Museum of Geology where our Kyle Clark is live to tell us how they are celebrating their 100th year. That's right. For the past hundred years, the Museum of Geology has allowed, has allowed visitors to view and learn about the animals that have roamed South Dakota. And I'm live at the museum to learn about all the history that it's told. So tell me, a hundred years, how did that feel? It feels amazing. So we're really happy that we've made this huge um, hurdle in our history, so it's been 100 years since we've been open to the public, and it's actually been about 137-ish years since we've been open as an actual museum. We started in 1885 as a study collection for South Dakota School of Mines. And why is it important for people to kind of come to the museum and visit and learn? Yeah, it's just a great place to, you know, learn about your local natural history, learn about the local geology and paleontology, why we have amazing fossils like our triceratops here, and then also just, you know, have a, a view into the past. Okay, so what are we looking at behind us? Because I know we were talking about some of the different animals that are featured in the museum, so what do we have behind us? Yeah, so this is our triceratops skull. This is triceratops hortus. And this is actually a really cool specimen because we've had it for a very, very long time. And it's actually the state fossil of South Dakota. This is actually the fossil of Triceratops that was declared the state fossil. So it's not just any Triceratops, it's this Triceratops. And I know moving along, we have this huge creature right here. So who do we have here? Yeah, so this is our Edmontosaurus mount. This was made probably about in the 1940s or 50s by Harold Martin. And he's actually a really cool historic specimen because he actually has an incorrect posture. Back in the early 1900s, we thought that reptiles, like this dinosaur, would drag their tails on the ground. And we've learned through finding fossils of tails that actually have ossified tendons near the hip region that they actually would have held their tails up. So this is a historic mount in the fact that we're interpreting differently now than we did back then. Well, thank you so much for allowing me to come. It was a really amazing seeing everything that you have here. But catch us in Good Morning Black Hills, where we'll be learning about how the community can join in on celebrating the 100th anniversary. More news after the break.